Hi everyone and welcome back to part 2 of this month's create date. So I will be creating 4 more cards using the products from the January release by my favorite things and I'm starting with my first card. This is the striped heart. It's uh, from the latest release and it cuts out this uh, lovely window heart on top of my panel. And now I'm going to combine this with a stamp from the Raccoon's stamp set. This has uh, four different raccoon designs and I think they are all adorable. I'm trying to choose which one I will go with. I'm going to stamp that on a piece of white paper. I'm going to use the Black Extreme New Ink by My Favorite Things. This is an ink that is um, Copic or Alcohol Marker Safe. I am also going to stamp uh, the sentiment that says 100% lovable and I just love big bold handwritten sentiments so I'm going again to stamp that with my black ink but just because this is quite bold I need to make sure that uh, it's going to stamp nicely in case I need to stamp once more on top of it I'm using my stamping platform and I actually had to stamp it twice so I get a lovely crisp sentiment on my panel now I grabbed the Brushstroke Bloom stamp set that has just been released and I'm going to use some of the leaves. I'm stamping them with uh, green ink and I'm going to switch to the second uh, branch with leaves there. And uh, the idea here is to create uh, little elements that I can cut out and they will go on top of my card to create a lovely cluster. I'm not going to do any more detailing work on top of those leaves, I'm just going to cut them with the matching dies. So all I have to do now is to color my raccoon. For that I'm going to use my alcohol markers and then use the matching dies to cut her out. For my card base I'm using a pink uh, colored cardstock. I have uh, stuck on top of the panel using some foam tape at the back and I'm going to create the cluster. I'm adding those leaves as if they are coming from the grid. So I'm just tacking them there and then on top I'm going to stick the little raccoon which is just adorable and I think it really makes the card. Now to finish it off I'm going to add some shine with my glitter pen and my card is ready. For my second card I'm going to put into use all those little pieces for creating an interactive card with a maze and a little ball that goes inside. So it's going to be a very simple card just to show you how all these can be used. I have cut out um, this uh, rectangle panel and used the stitched heart die on top of it to cut out a little window. Now I'm going to try and decide uh, what I will use as a sentiment and I decided to go with XOXO. I'm going to stamp that with my Versa marking and uh, then I'm going to use my white embossing powder to heat emboss it. And I also stamped and embossed with white embossing powder some hearts spread it all around my panel. These hearts came from the same stamp set as the sentiment which is called Valentine's Wishes. At the back of my panel I added some uh, tape adhesive and I can stick this uh, plastic pouch in place. Now I grabbed one of the plastic mazes and I placed them on top of my card base and one of those uh, tiny little balls and you will find links to everything I'm using down below in the description area as well as on my blog just like always and I'm going to secure this panel on top of my card base making sure that I align everything correctly before I press it down this is a clean and simple card, you don't really need to add too much since this is a, a card with this interactive element, the maze, so there is a lot going on on top of your card. Now I'm going to finish it off with some dots, I'm using my white nouveau drops there, and the dots will go all around those hearts. Now this is the full of heart die that cuts out a bunch of uh, hearts out of uh, this panel. You can use the hearts if you like, put them on the side, you can use them as confetti inside uh, shaker windows and everything. I'm going to use the negative space though, which is going to be a panel for my card. So I'm just going to pop out all those hearts 
and now I'm working directly on my card base and I'm going to apply some ink. This is Distress Oxide ink with my blending tools. I'm just going to add two different colors. That's a uh, warm lipstick and uh, picked raspberry. And I'm not going to bother too much about uh, making this uh, the perfect blending. After all, it's going to be covered with the panel with th all those hearts and uh, most of the imperfections are not going to show. I have some water on my glass mat and with a brush I'm adding some uh, water splashes all over the place. These are going to react with uh, the Distress Oxide ink and it's going to give a lovely look. Now I have added some foam tape at the back of my panel. And I do have bits and pieces of uh, that foam tape at the center of uh, my panel so that everything is nice and leveled. I'm going to stick this on top of my card base and you see I have a beautiful background. You can uh, stick any focal point on top of it. I decided uh, to not steal the thunder of this background. So I'm not going to stick anything as a focal point. I'm just going to add the sentiment at the bottom of my card. So it reads sending some love and you can use it for Valentine's Day, but not only. So I'm going to finish off my card by adding some uh, dots of uh, clear Nouveau drops in different parts of my panel. And let's move on to the last card for today. I'm using the horizontal uh, hearts in a row die to cut out those three little windows. And now I'm going to work directly on my card base. This is a standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half. I have um, used a strip of uh, this uh, black and white paper at the bottom. And I have, uh, as you can see, some uh, tape adhesive at the back. I haven't sticked that down yet. I'm just temporarily placing it there just to have an idea of where those hearts are going to fall. So now I can use my spatula and I'm going to apply this uh, glimmer paste. This is very sparkly and it's a great way to add uh, glitter on top of your card without actually having the glitter going all over the place. I find that the glimmer paste dries quite quickly, of course depending on how thick of a layer you have applied. I have let this card uh, to side until it was uh, totally dry and then I stuck uh, on top my panel with the hearts. And now through those heart windows you can see all that shine. Now all that's left to do is to stick the sentiment. Again I have uh, embossed it with white embossing powder on black cardstock. A lovely Valentine's Day card. So these were all the cards for today. I hope you had fun and got inspired. I will be away for about a week from uh, YouTube and blogging. And that's just because I will be visiting Creativation in Phoenix, Arizona. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and Facebook as I will be posting their photos of my whereabouts. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time.